The 2017 NFL season was full of surprise teams and events. Teams such as the Los Angeles Rams and the Super Bowl champion Eagles burst onto the scene and vastly outperformed their original season predictions. Other teams surprised and made the playoffs despite low expectations. Arguably the most notable of these teams from the AFC was the Jacksonville Jaguars. Despite finishing 3-13 in 2016, the Jaguars managed a 10-6 record in 2017 going all the way to the AFC Championship. Because of their success in 2017, they expectedly have high expectations heading into this season. However, despite what most people seem to believe, the Jaguars are likely going to be one of the most disappointing teams in 2018. Real quick, if you liked the video, make sure to drop a like and share the video with others. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to see whenever I post a new video. And of course, let me know your opinions in the comments below. I read all my comments and I'd love to hear what you guys think. Anyway, enough of that, let's just jump right into the video. Let's get the obvious topic out of the way. Blake Bortles is easily the worst quarterback in the AFC South. Everyone knows quarterback is the most important position in the league, and it's hard to win games without a good quarterback, especially against good teams. And for people who believe Blake Bortles is a good quarterback, keep in mind that he was in one of the best positions for a quarterback to succeed, yet he still only managed a 78.3 grade by PFF and an 84.7 passer rating. Now, any good quarterback surrounded by the best rushing offense in the league and the second best defense could perform much better than that. On top of that, entering this season, they have one of the worst receiving cores in the league. While Keelan Cole and Marquise Lee were serviceable last year, neither posted great stats. They also lost Allen Hearns and Allen Robinson, their best receivers in recent years, to free agency. This offense is going to be completely reliant on their run game, which isn't a very reliable method for success. While they did improve their offensive line by adding Andrew Norwell, it was never great to begin with. By no means is this a bad offensive line, but it isn't dominant like the Eagles or the Cowboys. One of the main reasons this team is primed for disappointment is their schedule. Last year, they benefited from a remarkably easy schedule. In fact, the only playoff teams they managed to beat were the Chargers and an admittedly dominant win against the Steelers. They managed to sweep the Colts and the Texans without Deshaun Watson, which clearly isn't saying much. They also beat the Browns, Ravens, Bengals, and Seahawks. While their victory over the Seahawks may seem impressive, they lost both Bobby Wagner and KJ Wright during the game. That same Seahawks team lost to the Rams by 35 points the very next week. Arguably worse than their unimpressive victories, last year's Jaguars lost to the Jets, Cardinals, and was swept by the Titans. Unfortunately for the Jags, this year's schedule should be much harder. Their entire division has improved, especially the Texans with Deshaun Watson, J.J. Watt, and Whitney Merciless all returning from injury. They also have to face the Patriots, Chiefs, Steelers, Cowboys, and Super Bowl champion Eagles. Now let's talk about that defense. This defense was ranked second in the league last year, and it's one thing that should perform mostly as expected. The lethal duo of Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boye led the league's best passing defense last year. Saxonville, of course, also boasted an elite pass rush, and one of the best linebacking cores in the NFL. All in all, I expect this to once again be a top 5 defense in 2018. However, this defense is great but not historic. Remember, this defense allowed 44 points to the Niners in week 16, and although they beat them, they still surrendered 42 points to the Steelers in the playoffs, so clearly this team won't be able to rely on their defense in every game. And keep in mind that the Broncos had the third best defense last year, yet finished 5 and 11. So while defense wins championships, it's not going to win every game. Something I know a lot of you in the comments will mention is the fact that they made it all the way to the AFC Championship game. While that is a great achievement, they didn't exactly have the hardest path. First of all, the Bills were able to neutralize Fournette and the team struggled because of that. They only managed to put up 10 points with Blake Bortles posting more rushing yards than passing yards. That might seem impressive, but he only had 88 rushing yards. In fact, the Bills had a good chance to beat the Jags if Tyrod Taylor hadn't gotten hurt. Then, in the divisional round, they beat a Steelers team who barely showed up to play. Both defenses could hardly make a stop, and the Jags normally shut down secondary, let Ben Roethlisberger throw for 469 yards and 5 touchdowns. I don't expect much from the Jaguars in 2018. They're definitely not terrible, and they have a ton of great players, but I think they're the most overrated team heading into this year. 
Many people, especially fans, are declaring this team as a Super Bowl contender, and I disagree. There's certainly a chance I could be very wrong about this, and if I am, make sure to come back to this video and let me hear it. Drop your opinions on this team in the comments, and remember to like and subscribe for more videos. I appreciate all the support, and hopefully I'll be able to actually get a decent mic soon. Anyways, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.